everybody welcome back to TSV TV and my name is Nikki in today's video we're going to be talking about my $20,000 2021 vintage tea collection let's go so I've had several 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 shirts I've been buying a lot of shirts and especially in 2021 um, <clears throat> but I, today I just wanted to highlight some of my favorite shirts that I got last year um, whether they cost a thousand dollars whether they cost 200 whether they cost sixty dollars I just wanted to show them because they are the definition of what I think is true vintage to me as far as tees go. Um, like I said, my collection has amassed thousands of thousands of dollars. However, these are gonna be some of my favorite tees that I picked up in 2021. So let's jump right into it. The first one's gonna be this bootleg, early 90s, single stitch, Bay Club, Power Rangers. As you can see here, the colors are absolutely crazy. They're immaculate. Like I said, single stitch. You can pair a lot of different things with this. And I just love the colors. And of course, who didn't watch Power Rangers, you know, Saturdays, waking up with your cereal, watching Power Rangers. So of course I had to grab this. Next we have Dexter. And this is a front hit and a back hit. Slight work, not too much going on, but it was just super simple. It's on a Royal Avalon tag. Um, this is double stitch, no date, but I just thought it was really, really cool. And again, just like Power Rangers, I grew up watching Dexter, you know, telling Dee Dee get out of his laboratory. And so I just had to have them. It's crazy cool. Then we go to like the black artists. And again, this is another show that I grew up watching, Brandy uh, with Moesha. And of course, when I saw this, it made me immediately think of Moesha and the artist herself, Brandy. This is one of those single stitch, well-loved, holes and everything, just like absolutely crazy, crazy fading of the colors, um, cream. This is one of the, another one of those like 90s, just single stitch, beautiful, beautiful pieces. I just had to have it. The next one is this Jenny. Just look at this. Look at those colors. It's just beautiful. She's just laying there. They had three extra pictures of her. No back hit. This one here is double stitch, but it's on a heavy hands cotton. Again, this is just one of those. Anything as far as like a black artist, I just have to have. I mean, it's just, they create the staple of what we know as 90s music as well as today. So it was just like amazing to have this. <clears throat> Next one says Boys to Men. I actually picked this up at an event. Um, called virtual back in November yeah it was in Phoenix and once I saw this this one is dated single stitch all around um, can't even see the date it's faded out right there 1995 it's boys to men tour yeah 95 and uh, has all the tour dates where they went it's just really really cool I mean if you're anything like me you grew up listening to this early Saturday morning if you're not watching cartoons in your clinic. So this was definitely a staple. This was like my teenage years, you know, B2K. Uh-huh, baby, what you wanna do? Yeah. <laughs> so this was super faded. Like the fade is crispy. You could tell like it was in storage, just like bunched up on itself. And once I saw the vendor like on this, um, on the IG live, bring it out, I was like, oh yeah, I have to have this. It's absolutely. Immaculate condition, like I love this crazy fade, and then that crispy, crispy back with the song on it just looks really, really good. And the colors are like crazy cool. The next one, this was one of those thousand dollar tees, so let's just say that. Uh, this is the Erica Badu, better call Tyrone. Um, and she went on tour with Chico the barge and this is the 98 tour oh and the roots just the colors on this are immaculate look at that her face just super crispy like you can hear it just super crispy all around you know i really like this song so when i saw this i was like yeah yeah let me grab that this next one is really cool because i grew up listening to some of their songs um mostly Heart girl, you know, I need a heart girl. That thing, that song. So when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, I had to have it. And then my girl's from New Orleans, so it just works out. 
This next one is Summer Jam 2010. This is the year I graduated high school, so it just has that, you know, kind of like sentimental meaning for me. And also it's super cool because they misspelled Nicki Minaj's name, N-I-K-I. -I. Make sure you can see that, N-I-K-I -I instead of N-I-C-K-I. -I. Um, this is like in the hype of DJ Khaled, who he the best, you know, Gucci Mane. Um, some everybody, you know, fabulous. It's just crazy. Then of course you have Drake, Ludacris, Trey Songz, Usher, and then Nicki Minaj. So I had to have this one. This next one is another crazy one. Another thousand dollar tee. Super flowy, just like absolutely amazing colors and graphic. Like so many beautiful colors. Um, hopefully it just shows on camera. It's a masterpiece. <clears throat> and I mean, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> the last dawn. It's just absolutely amazing. When I saw this, I was like, oh yeah. The big face, the graphic, just the lettering, the different colors on it, super crispy. Pair this easily with some wands. Like you could just pull out so many different colors. Again, when I saw it, I just had to have it. I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. The next one, another like $950,000 tee. Um, not that these like values mean anything now. This is like when I bought it, of course, like in the hype of like Instagram live videos and things like that. So of course things were going for higher, um, but hey, you pay for what you want, right? And this is another one of those TLC, you know, I don't want no screw. So of course, when I saw this, I was like, oh wow, that's so cool. Like I never owned an expensive tea. I think this was my very first expensive like vintage tea. Of course, I had like a couple hundred dollars, maybe like two hundred dollars at most at the time. But this was my very first like expensive vintage T-shirt, and at the time it was 21 years old. So now it's about 22 years old. Um, this is just you know one of those <clears throat> just tour date tees, and it just talks about where they went, um, who they toured with, and it's the fan mail tour. So crazy, super color, cool colors on it. Extra crispy, just. This one right here, um, again, waiting to exhale. I watched this movie several, several times with my mom. So it was just crazy. So to have a, a shirt that like commemorates the book and the movie in one, is just like amazing. Talks about the character, you know, shows the characters from the book as well as the characters who play in the movie. No back hit on it. This one is single stitch. It does have a new tag on it, but as you can see here, the previous tag was there. Um, so yeah, when I saw this, the colors on this are crazy. Like, it doesn't do it justice, just how like crazy vibrant these yellows and the browns and the orange and the purples are. So I picked this up from a local place here in the DMV, um, Unico. So shout out to them on this. This next one, another movie, Bebe's Kids. Oh my God. I can't tell you how many times I watched this movie. And just like, when I saw this shirt, I was like, oh crap, I remember that movie. <laughs> how he's trying to like date the mom and these are all the kids like giving him a hard time. Crazy movie. If you haven't checked it out, go check that out. Um, so yeah, this one's another one of those like single stitch, crazy face, slight bleach stains and just adds to the character of it. No back hit, just like, Pro Ace tag, super single stitch, crazy fade, super flowy, just like tees. Next one is Tricks. I mean, it's the cereal. How could you not like this? You know, it's 1995 from General Mills. Super crazy colors. Shows the bunny, silly bunny, um, all the cereal. Crazy, crazy fade. Just like absolutely flawless, beautiful shirt. Now we're gonna get into some sports because I really do love sports. And I mean, you can't have a vintage tee collection without having some nicely priced or just like cool graphic vintage sports tee. So this first one is um, Dennis Rodman, Bad As I Wanna Be, Single All Around, Morena. Dated 1996 with his signature, printed signature, and it's like this gold 
so you can see that like that gold bad as I want to be like that part is like the camera doesn't do it justice it's just like crispy gold lettering it's like eye wing cat eye <laughs> super crazy this one's crazy like once I saw this I was like oh wow that's like I haven't seen this I've seen the Froby I've seen him um <clears throat> as a Froby type thing but then it's Rodman so when I saw this one I was like oh yeah this one's pretty rare so let me grab this these next two are definitely some of my favorite um, sports tees. You have the shatter back, shatter backboard bulls tee with the sleeve hit. Right there with all the signatures of the players at the time. This one is dated, I think, I can't really see it, but it's on the changes tab, single stitch, 1992. Just look at those colors, like this is crazy. This is absolutely amazing. Like, shut the glass goes all the way down. Almost to like the edge of the shirt. On that changes tag, like I said, single stitch, crazy fade, super flowy, just amazing bulls tee. This next one is the same thing pretty much, except it's the Phoenix Suns. Like you have to have the bulls, I mean, Everybody loves 92 Bulls anyway, but this one's like extra special. The colors on this are, again, one of those crazy ones. Same thing. Sleeve hit, 1992, I believe. This one is, yeah. Again, this one goes all the way down. Shout out to basically the, from top to bottom on the changes tag. Single stitch craziness. Beautiful piece. And my last one. <clears throat> is another Bulls tee. But this one's really cool. I actually traded. Um, I have some family that lives in Atlanta, and I went to Atlanta. I went to Full Circle ATL. So if you're ever in Atlanta or you live there, go check them out. Super cool place. And I traded like two shirts for this shirt, um, which they had priced at five. So hey, I got it traded for free with some shirts that I had. And this is a front and back 1997. Bulls Championship t-shirt with Jordan Rodman and Pippen on the bottom. This is an, well this one's, yeah, this one's double stitched, but it's on a Bay Club. So it's definitely true 90s. Um, crazy, crazy cool. You could put this with so much. When I first wore this, I paired it with some brown fours. It was absolutely crazy. That fit went crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is my last piece. And like I said, I love a lot of the a lot of the shirts that I grabbed this year, but these were quite possibly some of my favorites. Um, if you stay tuned, I definitely have some more of my collection showing. Um, I love Scooby Doo, so that collection, yeah. I've been amassing a crazy Scooby Doo vintage tea collection, so I'll be showing that probably in next week's video. So stay tuned for that. That one's amazing. I have some all over prints. I have some Scooby race cars, but until then, look back at these crazy shirts. Eighteen shirts, eighteen of my top 2021 vintage T collection. Like I said, I spent a lot of money, but hey, like it is what it is. I bought the things that I really enjoyed going towards the end of the year. First part of the year, I'm just like buying stuff because I was just really getting into it. Um, and if you hop over to my Instagram, Nikki P underscore vintage underscore pickups with an S at the end, you'll see all these and more. Um, so yeah, so hop over there. You can see some of the stuff that I didn't talk about. Um, I try to give shout outs to everybody who I purchased something from. You know, if, there were, if it was a cool interaction, then I give them their rights and things like that. But yeah, so as we wrap up this video, let's check this bad boy out. DMV is for vintage, no back hit, nice sleeve hit, forbidden, euphoria 2021. This is from an event that I went to here in the DMV, and I just thought it was perfect to wear, you know, for this. So DMV is for vintage with the heart. It kind of plays on, you know, like Virginia is for love. So I thought that was really cool. And the colors on this are immaculate. Like I love this green color. But that's all for now. So stay tuned for the next video. Until then, peace.